Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm back at you one more again on this lovely, wonderful Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a good week and, you know, prosperous and abundant. You know, um, the subject of today, negative thinking will block your blessings. So just think about it. Your blessings are always bigger than your problems. You know, uh, going through all the stuff I'm going through, you know, I can actually... Uh, actually look at my past and not let it define me I, I do not let it sit up here and upset me anymore you know I'm still dealing with the one issue I was telling you guys back up on the last video but it seems to get easier now it's just like if I meditate and ignore it and get through it and move on and let it go and see it for what it is I'm okay and I'm peaceful about it you know it's just the more I make these videos and the more people I know that sees these obviously they're interested I'm just telling you, your blessings are coming. If you start, you know, seeing things and you and you looking at, you know, your future and you see beautiful things in it, you have to claim that. You know, this is like a new gear. You know, there's too much chaos and stuff going on. You know, we need to bring more unity, you know, all this diversity. It needs to stop. You know, um, so I, it, it's just the way my my thinking, I had to get out that negative space, you know. I said, but this situation that's going on, you know, it really put me in a dark place. But now since I'm seeing the things that I'm seeing, then I, I get um, uh, confirmation from my dad. Everything's going to be okay. You know, he'll sit up here and touch my face sometimes. And this man has the most softest baby hands. I've never heard of no man who has hands like that. His, his, his hands are really soft. And it just feels like, you know, um, with indigos in the twin flame, you know, it just feels like our souls are coming back into women. So I'm starting to think more like him. You know, I noticed that, you know, when somebody comes at me negative, I don't even acknowledge it. I'm not even going to make that person famous for even coming at me with some stuff like that, <laughs> you know. Um, but I had one person ask me, you know, why you make YouTube videos? You shouldn't do that. And I'm just like, it's therapeutic for me. And I think everybody has the right to know. You know, there's some songs that if you're a true Prince fan, you will know that he has a daughter out there. Or he has a son out there somewhere that, you know, because his life was so private. And it just seemed like since his passing, it is just like, it's just really out of whack. But it just seemed like we have gotten closer since he passed away. Like, I, I talked to him every day. He's dropping me clues and stuff like that. Um, I know he's always around. So I had to get out of that rut, you know, because this situation really put me through some dark times. And, you know, I was doing some more research yesterday, and it, it, it's just like, you know, I didn't know indigos. They said indigos usually deal with parents that, you know, they have issues. And we were there placed and they're just placed in their life, you know, try to make things better. But on my hand, <laughs> they went far worse, you know. Had an adopted dad, just, I don't know if it was a jelly, jealous issue or whatever, for the fact that, you know, he didn't want me to ever meet my father. So, um, or even deal with my family either. You know, I had to get through that because it's just like when people be hateful towards you, that's not, you know, you don't have to retaliate back. You know, sometimes you, you I don't know, you either want to knock them out or cut them out, clap back, do whatever. Not that everything is a response to it. it. I mean, that's showing off how their character is, not off yours. So it, it's just like um, I had to get out of that negative thinking because it's just if that's all you do is think negative thinking that's all you're gonna attract so i i said i'm not gonna block my blessings on getting it because i got visions of being with my family and you know being successful and stuff like that so I'm, I'm gonna claim that you know this is my year i'm gonna take it by a storm you know my dad keeps telling me you have this light don't ever let nobody dull that light that's what they they saw that in you and they try to tear you down for it they try to ridicule me for it so I'm not going to let nobody do that. If I know that my gift, you know, even though it's a blessing and a curse at the same time, if I know it is, if I'm working for it, if it's great, good, being a light worker and, you know, help reaching out and helping somebody. I see my friends and I always reach out, you know, um, and let them know if you, want, if you need somebody to talk to, just call me. You know, I, you know, they might not do it and sometimes they do, but at least I know I'm you know, reaching out for them. You know, I you can lead somebody to the water, but you can never let them drink it. <laughs> so, 
you know, I, I just have to think, you know, I'm going to be near my family sometime, you know, sometime soon in the near future. And, um, I know it's just, I had to do meditation, you know, cleansing myself, healing, you know, because this is just, I mean, there's some days I'm just like, this doesn't seem real to me. I can't believe I'm going through this. You know, I'm like, first is my dad find out that Prince is my dad and then you know on top of all this other stuff because I knew there was something when when he passed away I knew there was something I was not remembering I knew there was stuff that I that was just wiped out of my memory basically to make me forget but I knew there was something I was forgetting but now it's just the fact that I'm getting all these blessings and just to, for him to reassure me he's here every day and he has my back and he's helping me you know he's one of my spirit guides hey that's enough for me this, he keeps on telling me, baby, you are so close. You're just 100 paces down the road. You're just 100 paces down the road. And, you know, that was good enough for me. So whatever you do, just meditate, you know, do affirmations, you know, say that you're going to be abundant, say that you're going to be successful, you know, say that you're going to be happy. You have to claim that. You have to psych yourself out and believe that. And if you believe it, it will happen. Trust me, because I already know my blessings are coming. You know, good things are coming to me. You know, they're little and, you know, big. So I, I'm very grateful for everything that I've been taught, you know, going through. Like I said, it's a blessing and a curse because when you start, you're already dealing with your own emotions and your own demons that's coming out the closet. Then on top of that, you're dealing with other people's emotions. You have to be a strong soldier to deal with all that stuff. So, you know, I'm hoping that my, like I said, I hope that my videos can inspire, inspire somebody, you know, going through something, you know, um, I pray for everybody, you know, anybody who's going through stuff, I, I always tell them, I give you prayer on strength on whatever you're dealing with. I don't need to know unless you choose to let me know. But, you know, it, you always got to tell yourself it could be a lot worse. Even though you think, you know, when you get to that point where you're at rock bottom where you don't know where your life is going, that's when you got to give it up to God and ask him, look, <laughs> I can't do no more. I can't, you know, I'm just giving it to you. And just go from there. Just pray, you know, look out for you know these certain numbers if you see triple digits or double digits like today i see 11 11 i see 8 8 8 i see you know 6 6 16 this morning and it was like 66 you know percent on my phone you know nothing happens by accident everything is put in your life for a reason you're going through this for a reason everybody has a life purpose that they're supposed to do especially with light workers we're always you know i see different people that are out there helping other people they're doing vlogs they're doing um, Instagram, you know, all this other stuff. And that's a good thing. You know, we, we need more people like that in the world. You know, you hear all this hearing about somebody, you know, um, about kids getting kidnapped, you know, people's bodies getting, you know, being found in ditches and stuff like that. That's why I said I start watching TV. You know, people are asking me, girl, did you see the Lady Gaga thing? No. <laughs> it's just, the, I, I mean, as a person, I don't know that woman, but it's just something that's kind of off. You know, when I'm hearing about fallen angels and, you know, these Illuminati junk, I don't deal with stuff like that. I just don't. I don't even invite it into my house. You know, so um, it, it's just now since I went through my awakening, they say that you don't go through an awakening until something very traumatic shifts in your life. And me losing my dad and knowing all this, that's what started it all. But I'm very grateful for everything I'm going through because now I have a lot more answers, you know, because growing up, I never knew who I was. I knew who I was. I knew who I, you know, who I was related to, you know, by adoption. But as for biological, you know, my parents knew, didn't know, um, didn't, you know, tell me they didn't know. But, you know, I sound, you know, people are just telling me, oh, it's messed up. I feel so bad for you. Don't feel bad for me. I'm not a victim. You know, I don't, I'm not going to let this situation define me at, at all. It's just to know, you know, yes, Prince does have a daughter out there. You know, hopefully soon I'll be reunited with my family and my daddy's legacy will live, live on. And, um, you know, and that's, that's a good thing for me. And I just know, I just keep saying, it. I'm, I'm going to be with my family. I'm happy. I am happy. You know, I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I know I'm not going to be stuck where I am. You know, I'm not even going to allow that to happen. I'm only, even th you know, put that in a thought. But I know things are going to get better for me. And hopefully things will get better for you guys. You know, just look out, you know. Uh, start paying attention to more things that, you know, you, you would write, as off, write it off as irrelevant. 
because it might be something a key that you you know that you might need you know what i'm saying it's just when you see certain phrases or you see something on a license plate or see something on tv that is not by accident obviously there's somebody reaching out to you you need to listen so you know when you think negative don't don't stay in that space you don't want to do that because if you stay thinking negative like that that's all you're going to attract do affirmations just tell yourself you know even though you broke it don't know what and got two pennies to rub together you're gonna say oh i'm rich i'm rich in knowledge i'm risking my heart with happiness you know and then the rest will follow because i'm you know i'm not where i'm supposed you know where i'm supposed to be right now is where i'm supposed to be but i'm not i know i'm not going to continue to be like this so you know write you know write me subscribe you know hit me up um share my videos i don't mind you know hopefully it'll help somebody so i hope you guys have a good day blessed week and i will talk to you soon peace love bye